Hello, everybody. This is uh, Thomas Terry welcoming you to another study in the Word. What a what a study it's been. We're talking about uh, the occult world, Satanism, and we're talking about the different levels of Satanism. And today we're going to get into the two highest levels, and hopefully that will clear some things up for you. No, not all Satanism is the same. Uh, even Satanists get mad at that because people don't seem to understand that. So we clearly uh, have showed you so far... Uh, what's happening in our nation and around the world and how it's being influenced by many of this occult thoughts ideas and uh, There's something sinister behind it. I'm telling you now You have to be a rocket scientist to figure that out as you begin to study these things uh, It really really is a serious issue and will become more so We talked out of our last uh, session out of 2nd Timothy chapter 3. I'd like you to turn there again I don't want to be redundant, but this is very important to understand. And so if you have not watched the first two of these, please go back and watch them first. But I'm going to go ahead and repeat this anyway because it bears repeating. I don't have time to get into uh, this today, but uh, sorcery is going to be a great problem. It says that in, in the book of Revelations. We know that. And, uh, but we sometimes overlook the fact that in the last days it's going to come to a head. It's going to be an even greater problem. In 2 Timothy chapter 3, he points this out. If we, if we look at this in context, but let, let's go down and read verse 13, as we did yesterday uh, and the day, or, or the last session. In verse 13 it says, But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. Of course, men means women too. Shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. The word seducers there could be translated sorcerer, uh, according to Rick Renner and other Bible scholars, and I looked it up, and it, and it could be. And uh, so you can see in context here what he's talking about. And if you go back up to verse 8, as an example here, and we look at verse 8, Now as Janies and Jamborees withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt mind reprobate concerning the faith. Jannies and Jambres were high-level sorcerers. They were magicians of the black arts of Egypt, very powerful in their, um, their understanding of these things. Moses was raised that way. He knew who they were, probably friends with them, uh, and uh, grew up in that whole thing. So he knew about it. He knew that uh, they were wicked and what they believed and so on. They resisted Moses, and it says they're going to resist us. So we want you to know that you are being resisted, Christian, by a group of people out here that are sold out, at least uh, believe and, and uh, practice evil things or think evil ways. So how will it be in the last days? Verse 1 tells us, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful and unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, uh, incontent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power uh, thereof from such turn away. For, for of this sort are they which creep into, into houses and lead captive, captive women, silly women, laden with sins, led away with divers lusts, ever learning and ever coming to the knowledge of the truth. And then he goes on about Jan, Jan, Jannies and Jambres. So you can see that because of the philosophies that we talked about of Satanism and the occult world and humanism and atheism, it's all tied in. Don't ever think it's not. It's all tied in. Understand that. Now we have this issue. We have people who believe this, uh, young, a whole generation of young people that have been influenced by satanic uh, thinking, socialism, communism. It's all occult thinking. And uh, I'm here to tell you, uh, maybe you don't understand that, but it's the truth. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter um, Two verse eleven that we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, and the Bible says we uh, wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, and the rulers of the darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in high or heavenly places. You have to understand that Satan has wiles, schemes, strategies, and he has a clear strategy of bringing in the occult and possessing the minds of, of as many children as he possibly can, 
young people especially he's after and anybody that will give him place. Now, we talked about the first three levels of Satanism in our last session, so we're going to go to level four now. And this is uh, what they would uh, uh, consider themselves masters, okay? On this level, and in this thought, Satan is seen and presented as the rightful God of the universe who draws power from suffering, draws power from perversion, and draws power from death. Now we're getting into a level of Satanism where most of these people, I tell you what, these are they have given their lives over to this, and they are demon-possessed, most of them. I mean, very, very serious stuff. They believe in, again, that Satan, the, uh, the god of the universe, draws power, you must understand this, from suffering. The greater the suffering, the greater the power he draws. Perversion and death. This level of Satanism is very hardcore. And unfortunately, it is everywhere. Okay? And it may indeed involve uh, human sacrifices, animal sacrifices. And they're very twisted in their beliefs. And they believe that there is a link between pain and pleasure. So out of a many of these type of people in this occult realm, you'll have a lot of sadomasochism, sexual torture, and stuff like that are the norm, okay, from people this, this hardcore. Uh, they can't have normal relations without pain, without some type of twisted type of sexual behavior. They can't achieve sexual satisfaction. You'll find that many of our serial killers were involved in this kind of thing and the bloodlust just gets stronger and stronger many of these folks are into vampirism and things like that many of them drink blood uh, continuously and things like that they have what we call a bloodlust these folks will do things like slash themselves or cut themselves you know constantly to draw blood drink blood they'll save blood they're, they're followers of the higher level ones that are in charge Literally, they'll drain much of their blood and they'll keep it in refrigerators and drink it, things like that, really disgusting things. So they're really, 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 this is bad stuff. Uh, they, they, they kill animals all the time, but they like to inflict extreme forms of pain in the torture of animals or of human beings because the more the ter terror of the, uh, of the thing you're sacrificing, the more power is derived from that in their thinking. Uh, they believe, as an example, these animals or even human sacrifices are needed because that is where the, uh, the real higher form of power comes from. The highest form of a sacrament to them is the destruction of the innocent, even such things as babies and children. They believe that uh, you can get tremendous forms of power from raping little children, things like that I know that you hear about. Uh, that are disgusting and terrible, but there's they really believe this. This is this is part of their thinking. They don't look at look upon it as evil. They look upon it as they're doing good that way. They're that this is their this is their practice. They believe that the horrible perversions bring a door that opens the manifestation of Satan's kingdom somehow on earth. So they believe in doing these rituals to bring in more satanic power somehow. They believe they must win souls and recruit into Satan's army, which, will, which they believe will eventually storm heaven, cast out Jehovah, giving the devil his rightful spot back in heaven. These are similar to the other, the, the other third level I'm talking about this way. These people, though, are statistic. Many of them are involved in things that uh, are behind um, sex rings, prostitution, pedophile rings, drugs, all the levels of Satanism except for the first couple. Uh, a lot of these people, and even maybe them, I don't know. But these people are involved in all of this. They're involved in stream of, again, extreme forms of sexual deviancy. And, uh, you know, the things, and, and even things like, uh, could be involved in things like um, bestiology, having sex with animals, 
and uh, they're into this uh, a lot of this uh, pornography that's really disgusting and gross and way out there and violent and that is uh, what they do because that's part of their lifestyle now many of these type of satanic cults they can be any of these dabblers or whatever they could be that but most of these that I'm talking about now normally are involved in what we call generational satanic cults they are very evil they are everywhere these people have been practicing it since they were little kids and if you if you've been raised in it what happens to you normally is the abuse is so severe when you're a child and the rituals are so severe that you suffer in your mind a form of uh, dissociation which causes uh, not only you to be infested by demons of course but also split personalities so that people can actually do these type of rituals and stuff and uh, not feel uh, not, and not completely destroy them because human beings weren't made for this kind of activity and so one personality would take over do the ritual and then another personality uh, the other personality will uh, uh, take over uh, later on to function in society you wouldn't even know some of these people are like this and th but many of them have been involved in this stuff for years and years and years and it is really really seriously an issue and a problem across America and around the world I don't want to uh, frighten you but many of these people are being groomed and brainwashed to do things like kill uh, many of these people that come from these type of philosophies and the higher-ups will take kids they'll brainwash them to do things uh, like shoot people uh, they'll uh, brainwash them to do th become serial killers though uh, they they brainwash them to um, actually uh, uh, they, they're really in to this kind of whole controlling brainwashing thing and many of them will even uh, in, in, in uh, extreme situations become these terrorist people who blow stuff up now I know that uh, that's not what people tell you they don't know they don't understand this but I'm telling you that's where a lot of that comes from uh, the Nazis were some of these people a lot of these Nazis believed in this kind of extreme torture and uh, this experimental torture and mind control business even in the, in our uh, nation we've had people who have involved in this kind of thing uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later in the CIA and and other groups military groups where they were trying to make super soldiers and stuff and, and I don't it still goes on today I'm sure now the, the, there is another level and this is the highest form of what we would call Satanism it usually uh, takes somebody many many years many 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 years before they would ever get this high up into this kind of evil and advance this far if they come out of it uh, into this not from a generational satanic cult most of these people are raised in gener generational satanic cults uh, most people would just never be this dedicated to anything because these people these are the ones that are the most dedicated to their cause most people would never be able to reach this level for any reason because most of the people that are practicing in the other uh, couple levels below this uh, many of them commit suicide they kill themselves they end up in prison or the cult kills them or they go they're in mental institutions quite frankly but some people are born into this type of generational Satanism or Illuminati type of things which we'll talk about some other time they believe in sex with demons they believe in human sacrifices are necessary on this level as well as many forms of things like bestiology pedophilism these people know hell is real they believe that, it, that, that uh, even if they lose the battle though if they go to hell they'll, they'll, they'll reign in hell these people know that what God's uh, that God is, is powerful they know he's powerful he knows their prayers are powerful but they're dedicated no matter what to overthrow him these people know the truth on both sides of the equation the highest levels they don't uh, they'll tell lower level ones you know you must not mess with certain types of Christians because uh, they could be more powerful than you are uh, but they also look for weak Christians and uh, in this highest highest level I don't want to freak you out or anything but in this high, highest level of satanic practices uh, this is where you get into many of the 
things the Bible talks about, lying signs and wonders. I've known people who said they saw things like people disappearing and reappearing. Uh, they, they, they just... I've heard of stories of people who literally were breeding certain types of, you know, trying to breed uh, human beings that were, uh, how should I put this, dwarfs and uh, um, all kinds of twisted things like that. They believe uh, in, in uh, lots of different things uh, and lots of different types of occultic practices. All right. So we've actually got, got to the, this last uh, type. These people uh, are involved and back, of course, of murder, pedophile uh, rings, sex rings, prostitution, drugs. The mafia is afraid of these people. Um, they control some of the mafia. They control the drug cartels. They control a lot of these people. Uh, this is some of the highest, most dangerous people in the world. If you cross them, they'll just make sure you just go. They got tons of money. Some of them are very power, sit in very powerful places, and uh, they are sold out to what they believe, and sold out to the conquest of pure and undefiled evil in every form, practice every form of evil possible. In these cults, uh, a lot of them, and even even all the way down to the bottom one, up to the up to the top one, you'll find that many of them uh, practice different sorts of sexuality, but in these higher cults, of course, many of them would could be either a uh, homosexual cult, um, they could be, uh, or bisexual cults, some of them are straight cults, they don't, uh, it, it, there's all that kind of thing, but you'll find that in a lot of these cults, homosexuality and bisexuality is rampant, that is part of their worship, part of their rituals, you find that uh, uh, much of this stuff is is the the highest form of learning to torture human beings in ways that are uh, beyond um, uh, what we could even talk about to gain power. And so we can see that these are the forms of Satanism that are out there. Now, many of these forms of Satanism, you could also move them over into some of the uh, types of uh, what we would call the Illuminati or Illuminati type of cults who don't necessarily believe in literally a Satan, they believe in Lucifer. Um, and we'll talk about that as we go. But the, some of the same practices have taken place in a lot of these type of things. Also, you have uh, Satanism and Satanists that are attached to things, as we saw down in uh, Matatamaris, uh, Mexico, and uh, with the cult down there, I can't remember the guy's name, Jesus uh, Costenzo or whatever the name was. Uh, maybe we'll talk about him later. He was practicing all of these severe forms of uh, dangerous and disgusting practices, but he wasn't really, he didn't consider, hit or consider himself a Satanist. He was practicing what they call Malapalo, which is a form, an extreme form of Santeria. So down there, even though they don't call themselves voodoo, you know, even though they don't call themselves Satanists, they, they're practicing the same type of things. So you could call it Satanism. And uh, many of their dark gods, they would consider uh, Satan another name, but it's the dark gods, and they practice much the same type of things. And you'll see it going back and forth uh, in all these levels. Uh, you know, as, a, as an example, in witchcraft, uh, there's a lower level witchcraft. They don't believe in in uh, animal sacrifices or human sacrifices. They believe in, you know, the nature and Mother Earth and, and all of that kind of thing. And they believe that, they, you know, there's spirits and everything. It's kind of like, uh, like the Indians believe. But that's lower forms of witchcraft. And the higher forms of witchcraft, I know people who have went up in there, they finally find out that the worship of the horned god is Satan. And uh, so, you know, a lot of people who will tell you, we don't believe that, we don't believe that. Well, they really don't believe that. But unfortunately, they don't know what people above them believe. And they don't understand that there's more and more that to learn. And as they, if they were to advance into that, they find out that everything is connected. It's all connected and it's devilish. And you mess with it in any way, shape, or form, especially in the last two uh, parts, you're going to become demonized. The goal of these people 
in many times is to, they'll do things, I mean, that are bizarre. They'll come into a meeting like mine, and when the evil spirits are cast out, they'll, they'll, they'll invite them in just to gain more power, that type of thing. So we're looking at grandiose forms of evil. So in our next sessions, we're going to talk a little bit more in detail about some of these things, go into some of the uh, other things. But I hope that you enjoyed that today. That's long enough for this particular one because it's a little heavy. Um, you can reach us at faithalivefellowship.org. That's faithalivefellowship.org. We have free seminars there. You can go to our uh, um, free seminar page. You can go over to our other YouTube page. We've got another one. Uh, we have hundreds of hours of teaching. We are looking for partners and people that will stand with us. If you believe in what we're doing, you listen to us all the time. Please consider being a partner. Pray about it. Um, you can support us by your prayers and by your financial giving, and we really appreciate that as we expand our outreaches and help people. We help many, many people over the years that have been involved in these type of things, even on the highest levels. So we uh, we want you to know that we care about them. We know that these people, many of them, would would get out if they thought they could, um, and they they were they're very you know they're told they can't. They're told that they, they're law, eternally lost and or God would never have anything to do with them. They find out by one prayer, though, that God loves them and cares about even even many of them are more victims than anything else. Once they get in these higher cults with their children, they've been victimized since they were little children, victimized and raped since they were little children, sometimes by their fathers or their mothers or both. And uh, so, you know, they, those people kind of are victims, even though they grow up into it, and, and sometimes they are even... Um, involved in gross forms of evil because they're in that. They have to. They have no choice. Uh, many of them would like to get out if they knew they could. So please share these videos. Put them on your Facebook pages, your, um, you know, and you know, whatever, uh, social media. Uh, tweet it, Twitter it, this it, and that it. And uh, we remember this. Feed your faith and starve your doubts to death. Prayer requests, send them over to faithalifefellowship.org. We love you. We're praying for you. God bless you.